Hello guys, um, I think my strategy is kind of starting to work a tiny bit, so I'm going to continue doing it. So before this video starts, make sure you like, or just like, comment, or subscribe, because any activity means that people are watching this video and are not bots. So, that's basically it. We'll get started. So, Independence Day is a movie, a really old movie, it came out in 1996, it says right there, um, I saw it uh, yesterday, um, so today we'll be doing a review, um, Independence Day is one of the, it's one of the highest, it's one of the highest grossing movies of the 90s, so it's not big, it wasn't as big as Jurassic Park or The Lion, it was just as big as The Lion King, and The Lion King did not get a, not The Lion King, Independence Day didn't get a 3D release, on like Jurassic Park and The Lion King, which made more money because they got a real release. And basically, Independence Day is basically where all these strange stuff happens all over the world. And basically, the aliens attack the Earth. And basically, it clears that the aliens are attacking our planet, and we have to. And the other and the, and they're gonna attack all in one attack and one attack. And basically, we have to. Um, a bunch of people are, are going are going to team up to really defeat, really going to help or defeat these aliens. And of course, of course, I decided to watch this, of course, after the Area 51 thing. Because of course, see, that's all. And this movie does feature, this, this is where, I think this movie is where the Area 51 aliens originate from. So, it, Area 51 is a pretty, um, action, it's a pretty great action movie, um, is basically, um, is very thrilling, it has a kind of suspense at the beginning with the clouds and stuff and the aliens appearing all in all the cities, um, I'm, 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 and, t and they, they, they don't know what to do because there are aliens here, um, and the aliens want to destroy the world, destroy the governments of everybody. Um, and aliens almost kind of secede until, uh, but the president does escape. And they destroy uh, many, many major cities. Um, but we do, but the movie is, we do strike back and we figure out how to beat the alien we, by the aliens by destroying the mother ship. And, or the aliens get defeated, and it's kind of a very satisfying ending for a movie. Very, very great ending. Do not know why it got a sequel. 20 years later, um, it, 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 doesn't make, it does make a little sense that, oh, ten, 20 years after the first one, but they could have made a sequel. Where, like, Independence Day, the aliens strike back, or the, ali or the aliens return, or, or something. Like, a few years later, to make more money, and... And also, it took Will Smith into easily a action star in many more movies, yes, including, of course, the awful Aladdin remake. But, and, uh, you know, it's one of the definitive 90s box box, but also of the decade. Other movies being like Jurassic Park and, of course, <laughs> other 90s blockbusters? There's many, there's many 90s blockbusters. No, like Jurassic Park and of course the Lion King, which all made a ton of money. And of course, this movie is just pretty great. Um, I give it a nine out of ten. Um, well, I would see this again. And woke up 90, 90s blockbusters, not the company. So these are 90s blockbusters. So and our, and of course, it's another classic 90s blockbuster, just like Independence Day, Jurassic Park, or in the like Jurassic Park, and Terminator 2, and many other. Um. Blockbusters of the 90s. Goodbye.